There's no more consequential challenge that we must meet in the next decade than the onrushing climate crisis. Left unchecked, it is literally an existential threat to the health of our planet and to our very survival. That's enough for dispute, Mr. President. When Donald Trump thinks about climate change, the only word he can muster is hoax. When I think about climate change, the word I think of is jobs. Good paying, union jobs that have put Americans to work, Americans to work, making the air cleaner for our kids to breathe, restoring our crumbling roads and bridges and ports, making it faster, cheaper and cleaner to transport American-made goods all across the country and around the world. I know what the American people are capable of. I know what American workers can accomplish when given the room to run. I know the climate change is a challenge that's going to define our American future. I know meeting the challenge will be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to jolt new life into our economy, strengthen our global leadership, protect our planet for future generations. And if I have the honor of being elected president, we're not just going to tinker around the edges. We're going to make historic investments that will seize the opportunity and meet this moment in history. We're going to get to work delivering results right away on day one. We're going to reverse Trump's rollbacks of 100 public health and environmental rules and then forge a path to greater ambition. We're going to get back into the Paris Agreement, back into the business of leading the world. We're going to lock in progress that no future president can roll back or undercut to take us backward again. Science requires a timetable for measuring progress on climate that isn't three decades or even two. Science tells us we have nine years before the damage is irreversible. So my timetable results is in my first four years as president. The jobs will create, the investments we'll make, and the irreversible steps will take to mitigate and adapt to the climate change and put our nation on the road to net zero emissions no later than 2050. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to work.